Hello, hello, this is Simone. I am going to show you my five favorite layouts of 2014-15. That was when I just had started scrapbooking in August 2014. I started with Project Life and then I dabbled with 12 by 12 layouts. I had seen a lot of 12 by 12 layouts and just wanted to try them myself. And I did not really have that many supplies. That's why some things look very similar or there's papers that repeat itself all over the pages. Um, yeah, so my, I'm not sharing my most favorite five layouts, but the ones that I did back in Germany before I packed up all of my stuff and had very little stash to choose from. So this is my uh, favorite of mine. It was one of the first ones I did. Um, I think I scrap lifted Jen Scow, but I'm actually, now that I think about it, I, I looked on her website for in her gallery. I didn't find it. Someone on Facebook, and I think she, the, the person who did this layout, actually uh, filmed a video where she just layered uh, papers um, and I there were a lot of people scrap lifting that same exact layout and I was so inspired to just do that myself so this is what I came up with this is my take on it unfortunately when I started scrapbooking I only stamped the date uh, when the picture was taken right now I would more love to see when I made this just from an artistic point of view to see um, was this were they all done in a in the same months or uh, can you see a progress stuff like that okay so that's the first one the second one I want to share is another it's not a scrap lift but this was a sketch um, from Mel. She is kreativ süchtig on Instagram and she also has a YouTube channel. Uh, she is very um, well known in Germany for her scrapbooking and yeah she has a series that is called seven days seven sketches and this was one of those sketches that I followed. I had purchased some modeling paste and I had also purchased some stencils so I just wanted to try all of these things and wanted to see what they were and these since I really I said as I said before I did not really have that ma very many figures and these came in a studio calico uh, mystery kit that I purchased on black on on an, a black Friday sale and I received like twice the same one twice so I had I just used this alphabet stick the this color color used my copic markers and just painted over them and this is what they look like here so yeah okay what 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 else can I say there is a white rub on here and yeah letter stickers not very much journaling there but I really this is one of my most favorite ones ever. Okay, another one. Really, I don't know if they those were um, just came from my head, if I used sketches. I know that when I started scrapbooking, I really did not know where to start. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I often used sketches for starting off points some I always interpreted the sketches very liberally but often a sketch or a scrapbook layout that I scrap lifted was the starting point for a layout however again I don't know and I don't even know it have a date on this one so yeah there's more rub-ons there is letter stickers here they're like repeating and bringing this together title this is a studio calico kit and I backed it with 
another paper from Studio Calico and what I really liked here was that I left the branding strip on this side and placed, matted my whole um, canvas that I worked on on this paper and just trimmed it to 12 by 12 on this side. Yeah, third. This one is again a bit different than the others were. Um, I wanted to see what it looks like when you splatter and so I just used uh, watercolor and I, well, had this really black splotch over here, used some washi tape, not very much patterned paper. There's a really thin um, patterned paper, it's red. Um, around the, the photos and then this I think is a branding strip and since this uh, paper was from a paper pad and it was really thin and it um, crinkled up really badly with this little bit of water I decided to back it on another sheet of paper and this also is from a Studio Calico kit and so I trimmed it down to about branding strip width and then I used an Amy Tang uh, Tangerine Roller Date sticker uh, stamp and just stamped the sayings around the edge. And every time the stamp started repeating itself, I placed one of those sequin stars. And there is, you see, <laughs> not that very many supplies. This is the same as here. The papers are mostly Studio Calico because I didn't have a lot el anything else. This is also Studio Calico, the washi is Studio Calico. And this is the last one and um, I don't even know why I rounded. I think the one corner was already rounded. So I just, I really liked that paper. And so I just rounded the corners on all sides of the, pa of the paper because, well, since there was this really big circle in the middle, I thought it would look okay. Um, there is a lot of Studio Calico on here. Actually, all of this is Studio Calico. Um, I just layered different kinds of papers. I hadn't played with layering before, so I just tried and looked what I could do here. I used some washi tape for layering as well. Then I also added some of these um, die cuts that came in a booklet where you rip them out. And the background here, this is um, like a spiral that I drew when I didn't look with pencil. And then I um, traced the lines, not all of them, you can see there is some here and here, where it made sense. And this is, um, you create different um, spaces here, and then I just colored them in. And yeah, um, I used this, um, these letter stickers also from Studio Calico, journaled over here because I thought it would really look um, very good to have um, some, when you have text over here, there's text over here. Um, and then I used, this was a stamp set that came in a Studio Calico kit. However, I think I did not really use the, the greatest um, uh, ink. However, again, I only had gray and black archival ink and I didn't like the harsh black but it was already on there I couldn't change it but I did not repeat the black I used it I used uh, another ink over here for this one and then what else um, I thought I felt the need to have some embellishment cluster well this is not a cluster but that back then I felt that this was a cluster um, down here in the corner and I think it would work without but it also works with the embellishment cluster um, and yeah I repeated those two hearts here I could have placed one over here or maybe here as well uh, here maybe no framing the photo would be nice Some, maybe here would have been an, a nice um, heart as well and I actually used glossy accents again I I really needed to try all the things that I saw on YouTube and I used glossy accents I colored the hearts they were gray before and used glossy accents to finish them off so that is my favorite layouts 
from my beginning stages of scrapbooking and be assured there were a lot of lot of pages that did not look as good as these ones because they are my favorites which means they most of the time are my best ones okay thank you so much for watching i have a question for you which one of those five layouts is your favorite one see you next time thanks for watching bye